What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking to you and breaking down wax. What about wax? Well, I'm going to show you how far you can use $100 to get yourself some fresh wax to rip. Stay tuned. So we all know how hard it is to get our hands on some fresh wax, whether you have to go to a hobby shop like Murph's Car Town Sports Shop, or you gotta wait in line at Target 3 in the morning, uh -huh. or you gotta pay some crazy fees online. We all have a budget in some capacity, and with today's society, with the rise of inflation and other societal issues that are going on, spending some money on wax and paying the prices can be a little challenging. So in this video, I wanna show you what $100 can get you in terms of wax and how you can get some wax on a $100 budget. There's a couple different avenues you could take this $100 budget and one of them is you could just go all out and get yourself one giant hobby pack for close to $100, not exactly, but close to $100. You could just swing for the fences, you may strike out, but if you do hit it, you're gonna hit a pretty good one. That's just one. Second option, is you could kind of, you know, grab two packs, two hobby packs that add up to that $100 value or close to that $100 value. And a lot of people like to do this just to kind of double their chances of getting something good. However, they may get less cards or the, the product itself may be a little bit less compared to that, you know, one giant swing for the fence type of, type of pack. Now, what I know a lot of people like to do here at the shop is like they like to get a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything to add that adds up to that hundred dollar threshold. Some people will grab a nice cello pack, a fatty, and also a good little hobby pack as well. You know, these three packs are just right around a hundred dollars, and a lot of people will kind of get a little bit of everything to give themselves a really good chance or a greater chance to hit something. I hope so. Because you could get an auto out of here, you could get a kaboom out of here. And you can get some sweet colored prisms out of here. People trying to get a little bit of everything to help their chances is definitely a commonality here at the shop. Now what a lot of people will do sometimes is they like to spread and expand their budget as far as they can go. And obviously in this video, our budget's $100. So some people may look to get themselves as many packs as possible. And if that happens to be the cheapest pack, even though it's a hobby pack, some people will like to go that route and just like, hey, I got $100. Give me as many packs as I can get for that $100. Some people will, you know, increase their chance of hitting something, although they're walking away with a lesser quality of a product. Now, those are just some examples of purchasing sealed packs, right? Hobby packs, you know, it could be cello packs, fatties, whatever it may be. But some people still like their traditional sealed wax. And I don't blame them, again, the quality or the boomer bus value may be a little bit lower. However, you get yourself a full mega box and a full blaster box. All the contents inside of it goes to yourself. May also be a great way for you to spend your $100 budget. And just like the hobby pack being $100 or close to it, some people may just want that one box that's $100 and I don't blame them. Again, same with the, the mega box and the blaster box. They want all the contents inside to themselves and you know what? Sometimes you only get one card in a box, but that one card could absolutely be a banger. And spending the $100 on one card, on one product, on one box will definitely be rewarding. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! But no matter how you want to spend your $100 budget or your money in general, there are tons of great options for you, whether it's wax that we covered in this video or maybe some singles. And I've already discussed about that in other videos, dollar bins, bargain bins, going through cases. But I do strongly believe that spending $100 or whatever your budget may be is definitely feasible here at Merch Card Town Sports Shop so you can enjoy the sports card hobby to the absolute fullest and however you want to enjoy it. I appreciate you. That is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button, comment down below, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you're new or haven't considered subscribing. <laughs> I just stopped recording the B-roll for this video and I just remember that it dawned on me that you can buy sealed boxes and packs at the same time. I 
I don't know why it didn't dawn on me when I was writing the script for this video, but yes, you could do both as well. Obviously, you can get one small box or even you know a bigger box and then flip it for the packs. And you could get you know smaller packs if you get the bigger box, or you can get bigger packs if you get a smaller box. There's an avenue to travel down there by splitting and mixing a little bit of sealed boxes with some hobby packs or cellos or fat packs, or whatever it may be as well. I can't believe it didn't dawn on me when I was writing this script for this video. But you can also do that as well. But all right, let me get back to the outro. Yeah, yeah. That is going to do it for this one. I have a wonderful video right here, all queued up for you, ready to go. And hopefully I will see you in that one.